Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for the thumbs up. Um, my name is Paul. This is Param. And we're going to be talking about how you can use Einstein vision in combination with Live Agent uh, to train Einstein. So during this talk, we have three goals. Uh, we hope you get some takeaways. The first one is how can you use your customers to actually provide useful real world data uh, back into your system? How can you utilize the intelligence of humans, aka your support force, um, to provide feedback on the predictions you're getting from Einstein? And how can you combine these two things so that your Einstein keeps getting smarter and smarter? Um, so just as a quick show of hands, how many of you have a little bit or more than a little bit of experience with Einstein? And how many of you, uh, same question, but for Live Agent? All right, so a pretty good mix. Um, so I hope you'll learn a lot today about how you can combine the two. Um, and with that said, we're going to jump right into an exciting demo. So put yourself in the mindset of a company that provides some sort of service to their customers. And I am now a support agent here in the console with lovely Live Agent. And I'm just going to wait for customers to come in and ask for some help. Oh, here we go. We've got a chat that's come in, and I've, ac I've accepted it. Hi, how can I help you today? And uh, while he's uh, live chatting me right now, I'm going to show you a custom component that we've built using the Live Agent API in the console. Uh, and this hooks into Einstein. We'll go into the details after the demo. He wants to find out how he looks today. Don't we all? <laughs> I know how I look today, but he's not sure. Um, I'm showing off this custom console component. You can see a big TBD. This is going to wait for data from the customer in the form of a picture. Um, we're going to get a prediction from Einstein once he sends it to us. Uh, and then we're going to let our agents correctly categorize um, what he's saying. So I'm going to ask for him to send us a file. So I've sent a file request from a live agent. This is standard live agent functionality. Please send me a picture. And we'll wait for the picture to come in. Look at that. OK, so the picture you can see that he sent us uh, just this very moment, it's come in. Uh, the Predictions populated from the Einstein vision model. Uh, it obviously knows he's a pretty smart guy because it thinks he looks like Einstein. And maybe he looks a little bit like Cody because he's working on the beard. Um, but as the agent, I can say, hmm, what category do I think he is? Um, and how can I provide this as feedback to the Einstein model so it gets smarter in the future? And so I'll say, yeah, he looks pretty smart today. He looks like Einstein. Let me send this feedback into Einstein. You look. And of course, this is just a fun demo to show you how it can categorize by mascots. But you could do things like have a catalog of parts or perhaps uh, visible symptoms of problems to help troubleshoot cases. And he says, aha. And I'm going to end the chat because I've had quite enough of that. Uh, and so that's the demo. We're going to show you how it's built. And then we're going to show you how to retrain the model with the feedback you got. And then we're going to see again how it looks. So when it comes to configuring your organization, there are a few things you need to do. We're going to assume that you have console with Live Agent deployed. Uh, we're going to assume that you have an Einstein platform account. Um, and what we've done is we've installed a series of Apex wrappers around the Einstein API. Uh, it makes accessing the Einstein platform a lot simpler. Um, you can get these from GitHub. And I'll show the resources at the end where you can get the URL. Uh, or there's also an unmanaged package where you can just install into your org and have those Apex classes as part of the package. Um, these are also on our Trailhead badges. There's one called Building Prediction Models for Cat Breeds. If you do that, you'll end up with uh, very similar to what we have. I'm going to hands off of this. Um, you need to configure some custom settings in your org um, that includes your Einstein certificate and the model ID you want to retrain. Um, we have an admin UI that we've borrowed and enhanced from the trailhead, uh, which I'll show you in just a moment. This is how you can upload data sets and retrain them. Um, and we created a global pick list that matches the model labels. So the Einstein, the Appy, the Cody, the Cloudy, those are um, a pick list that we've made. Um, and so let me just take a quick look at the admin panel I'm talking about. So this is shamelessly borrowed from trailhead. So I really recommend you take that trail whenever you get a chance. Um, and what this does is it shows us the data set we have called mascots, the labels we're using, 
Um, and we're going to show you how we added an option to retrain it. So if you look at the numbers here, this represents the number of examples we have for each label. Einstein currently has 21 examples. Um, but because as, a, as an agent in the demo, we gave it the feedback that he looks like Einstein, if I refresh this, it'll say 22. It takes in the new feedback we give it. And we're just going to click retrain to send that request to the Einstein platform to take the new examples and create a smarter model from it. So we're going to take a look now at the custom live agent component we've built in the console. Um, we're using the console toolkit JavaScript APIs um, to handle two types of events. The first one is when the chat begins, we want to establish some sort of handler. And when a file comes in from the customer, we handle the same event. Um, within the controller for this component, because the component is Visual Force on top of Apex, we use remote actions uh, that call the Apex code, which calls Einstein. And then we use a simple web form in order to submit the feedback into Einstein. So this is what the controller's uh, or the component's Visual Force code looks like. Um, I'm going to go part by part. Um, so the first part here is we're establishing the handlers for when a file transfer finishes using the onFile transfer completed method and providing a callback method name of file success. And we're going to say whenever a new chat starts, we want to make sure that this handler is actually registered. Within the file success method is where the magic happens. Um, we're calling the Visual Force remote into Apex. Um, we're asking it to do a method called get predictions, which we'll look at in a moment. We're passing it in the attachment ID, which is the file the customer has sent us over live chat. Um, and then the callback updates the DOM element in the component in order to show the predictions. I'm going to, there we go. And at the very end, we just have a simple visual force form. Um, the input field is driven from the global pick list I mentioned so that the agents can pick from the correct options. Uh, and then the button is just a simple command button to the Apex code, which will make a call to Einstein for feedback. And so this is the Apex code that we're using. Um, let me take a picture of this, and then I'll go through the sections. Um, so at the very beginning, we're just creating the mascot underscore C as the custom settings. Again, that drives the pick list field. Um, and we have uh, the basic um, constructor just to make the file ID empty so we don't get null exceptions. Now, this is where the real magic happens. Um, this is where we make a call to Einstein using the get predictions. And this is why the Apex wrappers are so powerful, which Pram will talk about. It's as simple as saying Einstein vision admin get mascot prediction and passing it in the image uh, which is the body of the attachment we've chosen from Sockwell um, using the file that's passed in from the Visual Force page. And the next thing we have is the send feedback method um, where it gets the model ID from the org's custom settings. It again selects the attachment body from the file the customer provided. Um, and then we create a, feedback create a feedback image example on the Einstein prediction service Apex class, which again is part of those wrappers. Let. Thanks, Paul. Yep. Um, we've seen the um, live agent part of this. Now we'll see how Einstein uh, handles all of this. So we'll make liberal use of the Apex wrappers from GitHub. You can, uh, we've listed the resources later in the slides that you will be able to get access to. And we're going to use the admin panel, which is uh, part of the uh, cat prediction trailhead from Einstein. And we'll use base64 encoding to make sure there is no loss of data while operating uh, the image into the system. So how does Einstein train its data? So the set of images with uh, defined labels that you upload into the system uh, is what creates the data set. And when you train this data set, it creates a model which is then used to predict the outcome of the labels. How do we do this? So you saw that when uh, when I uploaded my image into the live agent chat, it gave us a prediction back. Now, to do this, we pass on the base64 string of the image uh, into the uh, get mascot prediction method. And Einstein prediction service basically takes this and compares it against the data set and the model that was created from the data set. Now, from this result, it gives us a probability uh, of what I basically look like. Now, you saw that I got. Uh, 
98% uh, Einstein and 1% uh, Cody, I think. So this is what this method basically does. The answer prediction does everything for you. And then an important part of any vision prediction is to basically uh, train your system with uh, constant new uh, data. And uh, over time, you will realize that some of your images uh, don't return with a firm prediction. And uh, to do that, previously, you had two choices. One is to basically upload new images to an existing data set and create an entirely new data set for your system. Now, in both these cases, you get a new model ID. And if uh, you had to up change this or update this model ID in all the systems that was running predictions against this model, it was a little bit tough and uh, a lot of work to do that. And to make it easier, we've now uh, created a feedback and retrain mechanism. So any of the images that you basically, uh, the system uh, misclassified can be used to retrain the system and make it even smarter. That is what the retrain mechanism does. So in this method, you will see that we pass on what the expected label is and uh, what the model ID that should be retrained on and the file blob, basically the uh, new image. We pass it into the feedback example and then we uh, go and uh, use the retrain button that we have uh, created as part of the enhanced admin UI. We say enhanced only because the uh, trailer basically shows you train and delete. It doesn't tell you how to create a uh, retrain button, but you can find all of these in the Einstein API docs. So you hit this retrain button, the uh, Einstein basically goes and updates the existing model set and trains the system on this new uh, data. This is the code uh, that basically does this for you. It basically uh, takes the new image, sets the model ID, and then uh, retrains the uh, model uh, with this new data. Now, in saying that, we'll see part two of the demo to see if Einstein became smarter. Yep. So as you saw earlier, we um, sent the feedback that he really looks like Einstein. Remember, there was about a 90%, 98% uh, certainty, but we're going to see here um, whether or not it's changed its mind after adding just the one example. So let me swap with you here so I can type. Uh, how can I help you? And we're going to open this component so we can watch it happen again. And hopefully it won't go dark this time. Wants to know if he looks like Einstein. All right, let's see. Question mark? Ah, so I've sent a file transfer request. And again, this is just sort of a fun demo using the mascots. But you can imagine that, uh, for example, if a customer had a problem with one of their parts in a printer or something, you say, I have a problem with this part. What is it? You could use your Einstein model to just um, find the part ID and actually looks a little more like Cody this time around. I so smiled a little bit more, I guess. So again, Einstein's not perfect. And one of the things I definitely want to uh, iterate is the number of examples for the model you want to use is 10 to 100 times. You know, many orders more than what we have in our demo. We have uh, you know, a dozen images or so per label. Um, you really want 100 or thousands even to get the most number of accuracy because this prediction could be thrown off by something like um, the background or the illumination or shadows when there's this few examples, but the prediction did change, which is what we expected because we gave it new feedback into the model and it retrained itself. Um, so I'm okay with that. And as an agent, I can say, he doesn't really look like Cody. He really looks like Einstein. Let me make sure I select that and send the feedback back into the model. And I'm going to go here as well and just hit retrain from the panel just so it really gets it into its head. Uh, if anybody's interested in seeing who Einstein thinks they look like. You can go to this URL and send us a picture. Uh, and if not, I see someone over there. I'll give him a chance. Uh, and then I'll put the resource slide up with the trailhead and the apex, and I'll take some questions. Are you getting it? You may want to check the chat. Oh, yeah. Come on, Jason. 
All right. In the interest of time, we'll skip that part. He probably thinks you all look like Einsteins, because I'd say you're all pretty smart for being in the session. Um, here are the resources we mentioned throughout the slides, um, how you can create an Einstein account, um, the Apex wrappers, which really do a lot of the heavy lifting. As you saw in the code, we're essentially creating the Einstein service as a line. Um, and then we say Einstein service, get prediction for an image, and give it the image. And it gives us back the probability. So really, it's about the connection between what you can do with the live agent and what you can do with Einstein and using it in order to drive uh, better intelligence into your business. Um, the Einstein API docs, of course, are very helpful. Um, if you want to extend or expand upon what's available in the wrappers or the code given here. And the trailheads we mentioned um, very closely align with what we have here, especially the Build a Cat Rescue app. It makes a lot of use of the same wrappers and gives you an idea of how that admin panel was built and how you could extend it for your own use. Um, and that's it. Um, definitely happy to take any questions from the audience. Uh, it seems like we have a chat now. Oh, you think we have a chat? Ooh, we have two. Let's see. Hi. Hi. Uh, and if anyone has questions, you can raise your hand and maybe Pram. Yeah, any questions? So the question, I believe, is where do you go to create different models? Uh, the additional models. Oh, the initial model. Um, so hi. Uh, so we're waiting for a file. So where we go to create the initial model, um, we started with the Einstein vision admin panel that we borrowed heavily from the trailhead. Um, it might be difficult to see on this background, but you give it a, a URL of a zip file that contains folders. So the folders inside the zip file will be called Einstein, Astro, Appy, Cody, Cloudy. And they contain images. Uh, you upload that zip, and it, the admin panel uses the Einstein vision apex to send it to Einstein, uh, and it sends you back a model ID in response. Yeah, so you basically name all of these images with uh, the right labels that basically creates the model. So Einstein 1, Einstein 2, Einstein 3, you could just go on like that. So it's, it's saying he looks like Einstein, but he thinks he looks like Astro. So sure, I'd, I'd buy it. So I'm going to send the feedback. You do, kind of. I'm going to end that chat. Uh, any other questions while we process this queue? Hi. Any other questions? All right. I don't see any other questions. We'll be milling about this area as well if you want. Uh, aha. Oh, we have a question. Oh. Oh, if you want to send a chat message to us to find out who you look like, if you go to um, this Google URL, goo.gol, uh, and then uh, there will be a launch chat button there. And you can launch the chat. All right. I'll keep I'll keep online if people want to keep sending us questions. Uh, oh, let's see. Hmm. Only seventy six percent Einstein. What do you think? <laughs> he thinks he looks like Einstein. I believe him. Seventy six percent genius. All right. Well, I just want to say thank you again for taking the time. Um, there's a lot of great Einstein resources around here as well um, in this area if you want to learn more about it and those trailheads again a really fantastic resource, and hopefully you can take something away from this. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for coming.